me i still at my lowest of the days i feel oh i should be losing a couple of kilos more but then i immediately sort of bring myself out of it you know earlier on there was no awareness uh, but now there is awareness that all sorts make this world and you are unique Hello and welcome to Sisterhood with me Shelly Chopra the one show where women confront their challenges and confess their insecurities and together figure out what to do about them The spotlight today is on Tahira Kashyap who talks to me about being a director an author and somebody who's truly putting the wind beneath the wings of many women across the country Really through many collectives and initiatives that she's part of she reflects back on everything that shaped her thinking that has propelled her to go out there and stand up for every woman who needs her. Tahira, thanks so much for joining me. First off, what what complexity of womanhood has led you to rethink the role that you need to play in this universe? I feel like being a woman yourself have you ended up battling something that led you to say I will change things for women. um there is so much to us i mean to say my younger self um i i always had this uh, concept of beauty and it just doesn't come from say from my friends or from my mother it comes from uh, multiple sources of media whether that's films whether that's books whether that's uh, advertisements every time you have someone trying to convince you to do something every time you have an opinion leader that lady is always beautiful that lady is also beautiful in the sense beauty the, the concept of beauty which is thrown to us time and over again people in power and position uh, as opinion leaders uh, always being so uh, dolled up and all all glamorous and to my myself 10 years back 20 years back that was my definition and i am 5 feet 8 and a half i am no where close to being petite i am not 50 kilos and yet i just wanted to hit that mark just because that's the acceptance uh it was not to become a model or an actress i just yeah. wanted to be accepted there are a lot of women who still feel like that me i still at my lowest of the days i feel oh i should be losing a couple of kilos more but then i immediately sort of bring myself out of it you know earlier on there was no awareness uh, but now there is awareness that all sorts make this world and you are unique tahira at what point did you start finding your identity would you say that the time that you came out uh, with your you know battle with cancer was a very big milestone in that journey i've always seen myself as an individual and um, whenever people try to put me in the plus one category that's where the disconnect happened and that's where i was like why am i why am i not just tahira for them <laughs> why do i need to be someone's daughter or someone's wife to have an individuality and um, i used to get really worked up because of that earlier on but like i said said life is all about evolving i today if somebody calls me that i take utmost pride in being someone's mother someone's wife someone's daughter but at the same time I think I make do make it a point across like I do uh um not said in words in through my work uh it comes across that I am an individual I'm Tahira first be- before being Tahira Kashyap or Tahira Kashyap Khurana or Tahira Khurana or whatever You know I've always been a big supporter of the sisterhood I believe we need to create more of these at all points is the film industry for example beginning to see that need are you beginning to feel that there is there is sort of this collective that wants to do things together and stand up for women and of course tell stories that need to be told yeah so so like i said it's it's um, it's about standing up for each other and why not uh, we have let the world go loose for way too long <laughs> it's about time we take charge um and uh, yes um, rightly so because they have been such um The, the the women haven't been portrayed um, in a in 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 more than one way they like i said earlier too that they have been stories the novels the books 
um, the cinema around women is very very limited it's very limited roles that you have and um, hardly layered uh, but yes times are changing there are women centric stories but yet again who are these people who are making these women centric stories there again the there are men uh behind the camera again so the perception is very different the sensitivity that you put to the art and the craft of how uh, a story should be shot also it changes with with the gender and um so we found out guneet uh, called me and uh, we were discussing and she shared these statistics with me that between 2016 to 19 there have been less than 6% women directors across india it's just not bollywood it's just across india that's such a low number uh so we wanted to do something about it and then ekta came on board so it's ekta ruchika guneet and me uh we made this um, lovely uh, uh group it's called indian women rising a cinema collective the idea is to push not just female centric films but also people behind the camera the technicians and give them uh, recognition and uh, job opportunities so yeah you know part of the conversation on the show is always about navigating relationships and insecurities and challenges how have you um, managed to navigate uh, you know relationships um, of your own for example this uh, this actor told me about how her husband was so uncomfortable being the person who earned less than her or or for example somebody who says that you know my husband never comes out to say sorry so how do you look at relationships like that the unequal ones uh generally we do have issues where if men are earning more or if women are earning more that does lead to discord but i feel there's nothing that communication and dialogue can't help there is nothing where uh security in in being who you are you need to be really sure if there is surety in your existence and your identity then i think this this discord doesn't happen when it comes to me and my husband i would like to reserve my comments about our relationship uh but uh, there is what I, all what i can say is there's a lot of understanding we guys know each other for the past 18 years now we've seen each other grow um our salaries have switched <laughs> there was a time i was earning more and he was okay with that uh today he's earning more and i'm more than happy tahira as a person you are playing many roles and one of them is that of a mother uh it's always challenging to be somebody who's famous who's always in the news and there's always buzz around them and then sort of this unrealistic world sort of sets um uh, in front of a kid or or children so you know that we belong to a famous household how do you keep things real for them i think my kids are uh, more feminist than i am <laughs> and i'm just so glad uh, uh in fact uh, i do not let go of any opportunity uh, when it comes to discussing um, issues with them in the sense i really uh, make an effort to treat them as uh, young adults and not as some brainless creatures because no kid is like that all the children really have a mind uh, of their own plus it's based on observation so um i do tell them that at home you know there is this amazing uh a concept of equality it might not so be in the world but then we are here to make a difference thanks so much tahira always a pleasure having you here with us at she the people For those of you who've just joined us remember to press that bell icon subscribe to see the people's youtube channel and stay tuned to our shows every single day